The late British publisher and political theorist Ernest Benn was envisioning Nigerian politicians when he posited that, quote, politics is the art of looking for trouble, finding it everywhere, diagnosing it incorrectly, and applying the wrong remedies, end quote. Now, former Kano state governor and serving senator Ibrahim Shekarao has alleged that his defection from the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, was provoked by the betrayal of the NNPC presidential flag bearer, Rabiu Musa Kwankwasu. Now, the senator describes the actions of Rabiu as a betrayal and outright manipulation with no regard for his image, for the truth and integrity. I feel tempted to believe Niccolo Machiavelli, who said, politics has no relation to morals, uh, Paul. Uh, definitely, yes, but politicians who are serious mm. will do all they can to win election. They need all... Oh, oh that, that's why they are Machiavellian sometimes. Yes, they are Machiavellian, but they also need to be very wise when it comes to, you know, building bridges. For, um, as far as I'm concerned, people say, I have, this might be very blunt, you know. I don't think NNPP is ready to win this election. Now... Rabbi Kwankwaso is very popular in Kano State. Mm. All right? I, I remember Kwankwaso, yeah. Yes, very popular in Kano State. You give it to him. Now, they have not made... NNPP is not making effort to strengthen itself. Obi, the Obi, the, the much talk about Obi... Uh, Obi uh, flirt, that failed. Attempted to flirt with it. Exactly, failed. Now, Shekarawu is also in stalwart. What... You, what they should have done, what Kwakwasu should have done was to have bent backward and accommodate this man, no matter what. You know, Shekarao gave all his excuses, he said um, a committee was set up and blah, 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 mm. and all of that. Should have bent backwards. Both of them are strong men in, in Kano State. Yeah. You understand? I, I just see that NNPV is not serious. Because by now, what I even expect them to have, they should have gone beyond Shekarao. Of course, Shekarao being their food should have gone ahead and spread their tentacles southwards. Who knows NNPP beyond the, beyond the, Kano. The, beyond Kano? No, no, go to my state, Akwaibom State, what? NNPC. Even NNPP not central, NNPP. even not, you are, even not east. Mm. Let, let's be realistic here. And now you are alienating someone who also is a strong figure mm. in Kano politics. You see, other parties we just gain because APC is there. You know, Gandhi J2 is a strong man <laughs> mm -hmm. in Kano politics. And then the vote that should have gone to NNPP we go to PDP. I mean, from Shekarao's uh, mm. uh, angle. angle. We go to PDP. So you end up losing more ground. So, uh, what's his name? Rabbi Okwankwanso and his party have better shape up. A better shape up. And Make so sure that do, they, do you think both men are e egoistic, egocentric? Yes, of course they they are, but because it's also, it's also about personal personal interest. Mm. But then, what do you do? The man is a strong man; he needs to be accommodated. That's what I'm saying. Emeka, e in politics, I hear when a line is drawn in the sand, it is uh, to your tents, O Israel. Yeah, but sometimes you can cross the line mm. in order to win the other side. I think um, Kwankwasu has this, um, he allows his ego. Often he often allows his ego to get the better part of him. And that's why it's been difficult for him to work with key politicians in Kano. And what was Shakara complaining about? The same use and dump, mm. which is a problem, the bane of Nigerian politics. You approach Shakara, you promise that you would give members of his camp tickets. Of course, not every politician has a base. Mm. Every politician has his uh, uh, followers. His yes. So you expect, they expected that, okay, expected that, okay, you will give some of his followers tickets. But when you came, when you had an enlarged meeting, you brought a lot of your people, and you brought out names without constituencies attached. Who mm -hmm. are these people? Who are, what do they represent? What about what we ask for? You want to manipulate us, you want to use us. And then the next thing, you start insulting the man. I mean, Nigerian politicians, I think they should realize that, you see, no matter how you think, 
how ordinary somebody is. Take notice that, look at in 2015, one of the things that did uh, Jonathan in then was that you found out that pockets of interest in different places coalesced mm -hmm. and built a strong, a strong opposition to his bid, you know, for a second term. Don't, don't underestimate any politician, particularly somebody you hope will jump into your boat to help you to actualize your ambition, which is a major problem that Concourse has. And that is a carryover from that, from, you know, PDP, which is that same issue they are still having today, which we just discussed. So the point is, Shekarao is a strong force. For him to have gone to the point of dumping his senatorial ticket mm. means that he was really frustrated. Yeah, he was really angry. He was angry. Yeah. Because what you're trying to do is to make him a captain without troops, a yeah. general without troops. So, okay, his followers will say, okay, so you are the only one who benefited mm. from this mm. movement. And then the rest of us have been left in the dark, left in the cold. What do you think would happen to his? What do you think would happen? If, if, they will not. They will even dump him and go away. You see, certain key members of the of the Kwankwasiya movement have even moved over to Ganduje. Yeah. If you remember, yeah. there was a video where mm. Ganduje was removing their red caps. You know, <laughs> removing their red caps. He will call this person and remove their red caps, and which is the symbol of the Kwankwasiya movement. Yeah. So you see, and then Kwankwasiya, you wanted to make what? You, you, it's wrong. You know. To have this habit of throwing, throwing stones at political associates, you should try to mend fences. You try to reach an alliance. He tried to an alliance with Peter Obi. Peter Obi. It didn't work because he saw through. He saw through your pretenses. You now turned around, started insulting him, calling him names, insulting mm. his ethnic group, and said, "You don't do that." It shows that your politics has not matured. You are yeah. just, you are mm. just a. You are just an opportunistic politician. Just because maybe due to a certain territory you control, you think you have uh, a national appeal, which is very, very wrong. I, I, um, Paul, Nigerian politicians appear to me, if, if you ask me, appear to, to me to become more Machiavellian than we thought. You know, I cannot forget about the 48 laws of power. I'm sure oh. you know about it. Law number three, very, very key. It says... Don't show your hand too soon. Too soon, mm. yes. Mm. I cannot forget forget it. Many are, many Nigerians, Nigerian politicians don't read, and they they don't take they, they don't borrow borrow from other cultures. You know uh, exactly. You see, if there's anything that you want to appreciate Ashiwa Dubola Tinubu for, is that what he can build bridges. You are not campaigning here. No, I'm not campaigning. I'm, I'm, I'm only saying the obvious. He can build bridges. Even Atiku, to some extent, does mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But you see, this thing takes sagacity. It's not just saying, okay, I am popular. I have some. Just I. Uh, I not I, even I. my movement they or my say, group. They say the more the merrier. You see people cutting. You see I beg, a, please, let's not keep Ola waiting. Ola is reaching us from Abuja. Ola, good evening to you. Um, citizens, John. I greet you, sir. Yes, and I greet your um, um, colleagues in, in the studio, too, sir. Mm. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Emeka and yeah, uh, Paul um, Dada. Sorry, please. I just want to give a piece of advice. I <coughs> think um, I may be wrong with this. I, I think um, TVC is too much uh, visited. It's too much visited in um, talking about the PDP, uh, PDP issue. There are so many things happening um, I mean, in ABC, so many things. Muslim, Muslim ticket, you know, VP, <laughs> presidential ticket, and every, many you know, negative things happening in ABC. But I discovered that you guys are not talking about it. Every day it is PDP, this PDP, this weekend, this weekend. Ola, Ola, e, e, again, again, you, you don't tell us what we do here. You know, it, the things that occur, occur to us, we take on. Are you saying that Opposition, trouble in the opposition camp does not bother you. It does. <laughs> I, uh, I think, I think uh, the caller, maybe he doesn't listen to, to this program. Uh, because we talk about 
every, every issue. And, and telling me issue. about a Muslim Muslim ticket. I, I thought we had gone gone beyond that. <laughs> we talk about uh, every issue. <laughs> well, uh, let me just finish my thought about yeah. uh, uh, about um, Abia Koko. So you should realize that the more the merrier. Who is it? By now, we should know who is the face of NNPP and in the southwest. That's it. Who is the face of NNPP in, in the, the south, south south in the southeast? If not west, uh, sorry, not central and um, not is nobody. So he should learn to build bridges. We see people go, people that are going to the um, express in Obasanjo Jaw in Abekuta. You see, they, you see, they don't know what they are doing. People who are cutting the good luck, uh, president, ex president Gulo Jonathan. Does he think they don't know what they are doing? Mm. So the man should bury his pride, his bury his arrogance, and start, you know, uh, building bridges and connecting with people. Emeka, but there, there's a, 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 a lesson here, uh, being, being taught to the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if politicians really bother about politicians coming after them. No, 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 it's about the moment. Okay, the now. The, yeah, it's about now. Do, 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 they, do, they, do they, they don't even think about the past. Who was it that said the biggest tragedy is that men do not learn from history? So that's mm. why history is bound to repeat itself. And you see it with the way alliances have been broken. And you see it with the fact that 2015 we had, you know, we had so, so much bad blood in terms of, you know, in the guise of politicking. And then we still have that in 2022 when... The country is in a crisis. The economy is in dire straits. Students have been at home for six months, months and running. Broken. We should be dealing with issues. So in other words, in building alliances, we should be talking about the country, talking about the state of the politics, talking about the economy, how we can give hope to the younger generation, the up and coming generation. But what are we talking about? All right. Omar, Omar uh, from Joss. Omar from Joss uh, appears to be the last caller here. Good, good evening, Omar. Welcome. Yeah, good, good evening. Uh, my name is Omar. I'm calling from Joss. Welcome. Uh, I want to align my thoughts with Mr. Ola, your last caller. I think your program is becoming boring. It's always about PD, uh, PDP, PDP. <laughs> you are not talking about other but, but, issues. But for now, we are not talking the PDP. You are not interested in what happens with the NNPP? All right. <laughs> well, it's all, it's all about that's what we're talking it's about. All <laughs> perception. You know, perception, the, yeah. The, the, the sad yeah. thing is that we, you know, we don't broaden our discussion. We should make our perspectives broad, talk about mm. issues. Because we have to also talk about political parties. Exactly. We have to talk about the dramatic personnel in the political parties and the things they are doing. We are talking about an alliance. Two people from Kano, two political mm. heavyweights from one state mm. cannot agree. And they intend to reach out to different parts of the country. Yeah. How are they yeah. going to achieve it? Mm. Which, is a major, which is a major problem. How are you going to go to mm. the man in uh, Eket, for instance, and say, okay, I want to be your president. And he asks you, how? how? Which, which party? <laughs> which party? I don't even know you. Mm. You can't reach an agreement with your brother. Yes. I, I, th I think right. politicians take us I, I, more I hear, seriously. We, I hear we must go. Okay.